Ausgang. Also dangerous Alter. You did your own thing. <laughs> Where are you from, cuz? Uh, Samoa. Samoa. Oh shit. I think you're from Africa. Same, same, same family, right? Alright. Do you, you want to say anything positive to your family? Um, Hello. African family, English family. Say anything. Anything positive. I love my family. <laughs> That's it. Go ahead. Say it. Yeah. Oh. What do you want to say? I love my family, even without the presents. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Alright. Sorry, sorry to put you in the spot like this, but this is what I do, right? Come, come, come inside. Come, come chill out without. What are you doing? I need your love. Oh, melted shit. Okay. We'll catch you later, yeah. Subscribe to my channel, Chibnaya. Alright? What? Chibnaya. C-H-I-E-F. C-H-I-E-F. Alright. 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 C H I E F E R Y N O. Alright, cheers, bro. What's good, family? Alright, that was uh, just an impromptu person passing through. Uh, I'm on the street floor. It's grey. Let's see. There's a baby crying there. But yeah. Chaotic uh, Storm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining the stream. Beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, it's great at the moment. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I've got a mic here, but I haven't plugged the mic yet. But can you hear me? Uh, Saturday, um, it's 1 p.m. or nearly off at 1 p.m. Uh, it's Saturday, the 23rd of um, March. Um, really beautiful day. Uh, it's great. You can see the vibe. Street life looks great. Street life. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the camera. It's great. Alright, so I am at uh solo bob mother shop and I'm gonna have a haircut in a minute. But you know what we do, you know. Whenever I come here, we have an episode, the barber shop episode. So uh, this is what we're about to do at the moment. So yeah, uh, stay tuned and enjoy. I'm now about to head in Solo's barber shop, all right, and have a haircut. What's good, family? Solo. <laughs> Barbershop episode episode four. Chidrana gonna have a haircut. Um, oh, 
have to empty my pocket. Come on, share the string. Yeah, you don't want your family to see your hair like that. Come on, man. African family. You're gonna get some ass whooping. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. All right, there we go. I'm gonna have a haircut. Panacea, right? It's a, it's a medicine or a drug, okay? That remedies all illnesses. Okay. So Pan Africanism, Pan Africanism is what it is. All right. So, Kaz, Yusuf, what do you understand by Pan Africanism? Solution. 
Every, everybody can talk about the problems. Why is it that? People talk about the problems, but they've got no solutions. For real, right? So, nobody's coming up with a solution. But my solution is Pan-Africanism, right? Which is unity. Isn't that true? Some people don't understand. Yeah, it, it, mis misunderstanding, isn't it? What about mis miseducation? People don't believe that when, when, when we unify as Africans, right, or as black people, we can achieve great things. People don't understand that. What is there not to understand about it? See that? Yeah? Why can't we understand that? That there's the strength in unity, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm thinking like, you know what? Chill out here, the Solos Barbershop. Yeah. But you've got us here having this haircut. Are we building? Are we building the family? Oh, bro, you check. If you change, I'm going to get a copyright strike. Ah, look at you. Look at you. Anyway, all good. My channel is not monetized, so all good. Yeah, you come, you coming up with a new um, hairstyle today? Yeah. What's the name of the, the hair, haircut I'm gonna get today? 
He said, yeah. What's the name of the haircut I'm gonna get today? This one? Yes. This is a really big one. Skin fade cut. Skin fade. Yeah. babies in a divided household. We have to fix our household first. Right, we need that unity. We need that unity first. We don't we don't want to have single fathers running around with with multiple baby mothers. We don't want that. We can't have that. And we don't want single mothers running around town with multiple baby baby daddies. Right? We can't have that. That's not that's not what it is. So my thing is why must you have children in poverty? When we are so deprived, when we are so you know nearly reduced to nothing. Why do we want to keep having children and birthing children into into the struggle? Right? So these are some of the things that we need to always always um, Talk about. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share my stream. I forgot to share my stream with my my my, my Snapchat group. And, uh, yeah. So we can have we can have as many black babies as we want. But if we've got no vision, if we've got no structure in place for them, we set them up to fail just created more, more problems, right? We just created more problems. So yeah, come on in, family. Join the stream. Pan-Africanism is a panacea to remedy all our problems. And every
everyone here in this in this barbershop understands that. Everybody in the barbershop understands that. It's only through unity that we can achieve anything, right?
So Pan Africanism, right? We promote unity. So this, this, the meaning of Pan Africanism is the global unification of everyone of African descent. So you recognise yourself as African, someone of African descent. If I'm right, are you, are you sort of like Jamaican, Korean? How the fuck did you guess that, bro? Just look like me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're blood. Yeah. I recognise you. I recognise you. And <laughs> I, I took my DNA, right? I can't hide it. It's there. That is a that's a word ignorance, right? Mm. So I know I know the di dictionary has a, a definition of ignorance, which which basically tells you that you're you're stupid, right? Yeah. But my my way of saying ignorance is someone that ignores. Yeah, someone that ignores the truth and, and ignores what something actually is. Exactly. So you know A is A, but you are in denial. Mm. You you want to call A a B. Like, like, you can see that A is written there, you can see it, A is there, but you're yeah. trying to tell me it told Z, but are you blind, brother? Nah, brother. A so is that, A. That, that is ignorance. Is. That's straight ignorance. Yeah. So straight up ignorance. What, what do you have to say to um, the family in, in the United States who claim to be Aboriginal, <laughs> Aboriginal yeah. Americans? I mean, look, at the end of the day, bro, like, that, that can be your temporary identity, but like the, the, the actual root of your identity, you're African American, you understand that? You can't yeah. hide from it, you're African American. There's no, there's no harm in being African American, that's your identity. That's right, you understand, bro. But you can't really blame people for, for kind of pulling themselves Aboriginal American if that's all they've been brought up to kind of say that that's what they are, do you understand? So it just comes around to come down to nurture, like how have you been, have you, have you been nurtured to understand your roots? Yeah. Have you not been nurtured to understand your roots? You just come down to nurture in the environment, do you understand? That? That's right. So, so um, they, this is this is the ignorance, right? We, we all know that Africans were the first human beings on Earth. Everybody else on this planet is essentially African. So, to be to be indigenous of the of the United States, right? You've got to be African to start with, right? All right. So. Um, yeah, um, what do you, I don't know if you've heard about the um, hashtag ADOS. No. So it is, it is um, African Americans descendants of slaves. That was the initial uh, meaning for the acronym, right? So <laughs> I was, do you, do you know but, uh, the gentleman by the name uh, O'Shea Dick Jackson on YouTube? No, you don't. So you're not a, a YouTube. Nah, I'm not a YouTube. I'm not a YouTube. 
Oh, let's listen to yeah. music. So, so let me convert. But you, you do you do access a lot of uh, music on YouTube. Yeah. So let, let me convert you. Right? So when you go on YouTube, when you sign up for YouTube, subscribe to the channel. All right, let me be your your first subscriber. And since we're blood, right, you need to you need to subscribe to my channel. All right, so we build. Now, um, there is this movement, a new movement in. Um, so you you you, you 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 love music. You know Twenty One Savage. Yeah. You know he's Jamaican. Right? Yeah. Jamaican ancestry. He's born in the UK. Yeah. But he's been living. He's been living in. Um, he's been living in the US since he was like eight years old. That's when that was Because all he knows is being American. He That's back right. to my point of of the Aboriginal Americans. Yes. It comes down to his his nurture. He comes in. Sounds American. That's right. So himself, he identifies himself. Sounds American. American. 100. But when you dig deeper, yeah. where's his roots? Africa. Exactly. But where's he? Where was he? Where, where was he born? UK. So what citizen is he? UK. Yeah. Exactly. He's not an American citizen. So it comes down to the exact same thing. Identity. Right. right identity right. is always perception. How do you perceive yourself to be? Identified? It's perception. It's perception, brother. Right. Get me. Yeah. It's straight perception. Man. All right. Come, come. Talk to the talk. Talk to the mic. All right. Talk in the mic. Yeah, there's nothing more than perception, bro. And that's all it comes down to is perception, bro. Right, right. Yeah. So tell, tell us more. Tell us more. Like, it, it, that's literally all it really comes down to. You get me? Like, if you're born in America, you see yourself as American. Right. If you're a black person, American. You're automatically categorized as being African American, automatically. Now, if the people that are around you categorize themselves as being Aboriginal American, then what you categorize yourself as being? What your surroundings categorize as being, right? So then, what are you in denial about? Right. What the general public categorizes you are, which is African American. Right. But if you dig deeper, you understand that that actually is your physical root. That's right. Like for me, like when you, when you have an when you have an application on, online, you have options. What do you, what are your options? African American, right? Right. Just a general pool for black people. Yeah. And whether you're in America or not, it's still African American. You don't see British American. You don't see you don't you don't see African British. You don't see African English. Yes. You see African American. Right. Do you understand? That's right. It's a general pool of being African. Yeah. But the thing with ADOS is, or the ADOS, right? African Americans, descendants of slaves. They want to classify themselves under that acronym, right? Or that uh, name by defining themselves as descendants of slaves. I have, I have a problem with that. Because... Slavery was outlawed in, in, in 1865, about 150 years ago, right? We're, we're no longer slaves, right? We're no longer descendants of slaves. Do you, you understand me? Because my grandfather was not a slave. Exactly, but a lot of people are in denial about that because of the harsh reality of the fact that we were slaves, you get me? Like a lot of people are, yeah. a lot of people are, are, are upset to kind of say, cool, I'm actually African American. Because when you say the word African, you associate the word African with poverty. You associate it with, cool, you were a slave once upon a time, so like, like your, your surname is from a slave. Like for me, like, like I've got an English surname, like, my surname's English. Like, so for me, I say I'm African American. When you dig down into the roots, I've got something somewhere, somewhere down the track, my surname come from somewhere, do you understand? Yeah. So that's, that's the, that some people just get it that kind of accepting the identity of being African American. That they disassociate themselves with being African. Even me, I've got a lot of friends that are Caribbean that say, you know what, fuck it, we're not African, we're Caribbean. But you dig deep enough, brother, you're, Car you're, Af you're Caribbean, yes, but you're African as too, as well, yes, you understand? You're still African, bro. But it just comes down to what you want to accept. You either want to accept it and you're not afraid of, of, of people looking at you like, oh, your ancestors were slaves. But for me, I'm, I'm not scared to accept that my ancestors were slaves. Because it shows us how far we've come. You understand, bro? Because we're, now, we're no longer slaves, we can see how far we've come, bro. So, yeah. yeah One well, minute, you see. This is what I say, right? We're not descendants of slaves, we're descendants of enslaved people. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> we, 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 we're not born slaves. People put us in that condition. So this is what it is. So people like me push this argument that we're not descendants of slaves, so they try to change it to be African Americans descendants of enslaved people. Mm, it's true, but it's true, but once again, it just comes down to what you want to accept and what you perceive. It comes down to so it comes down exception. to perception, right? Yeah, an exception. Where per perception is not reality. It's true. Because your perception can always change. 
But the reality still remains, right? Okay, no matter. All right, talk to, talk to the family, right? Mm. Talk to the family. Yeah, so that's really what it comes down to, man. Just get me. You have the mic. It's whether you want to accept it or not, bro. Like, it's up to you either accept it or you don't accept it, bro. So, for me, I accept it because I'm not ashamed of it. As you say, you get me with descendants, not. We're not slaves, we're the descendants of slaves. It's unfortunate, but at the end of the day, man, it is what it is, bro. You can't hide what you are, you can't hide where you're from, you can't hide your roots. Because your roots are the uh, the roots are the, the foundation of yourself, bro. Like, yeah, listen, give me, give me a moment. Okay, I'll give you a talking point, right? You need to hold the mic close up, right? Um, there is the reason why the ADOS or the African American descendant of slaves became mainstream was to push reparations. Because the American government owes uh, black people in America that went through slavery, owes them reparations. So, in order for them to get re reparation, they're pushing this hashtag ADOS specifically for them. What's it, what's it, what's it being pushed on YouTube? What's it on like, Twitter? No, they've been pushing it everywhere. Mainstream yes, yeah. now. It's mainstream now. Mainstream media everywhere else. So, this, this is why they separate themselves from every other black per people based on the fact that they were the only people enslaved in the United States so they are the only people entitled to, to the money but fair enough but they put, they're just pushing the agenda that they were slaves and, and, and stuff like that so uh, how do you what do you understand by by that what do you have to say Be because this is 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 putting a rift amongst black people so African Americans, people that are under the umbrella as Ados, don't see you as a brother. Mm. Meanwhile, you look like them. Mm. We all look the same. Exactly. Right? So a lot of, there's a, a growing number of people who hate 21 Seven, 21 Savage, just because he's British born and he's Caribbean. Are you serious? I'm I'm serious. So you build on that. You build on that. So people hate 21 Savage because he's African American. Yeah. Because he's American. Yeah. So they hate him Be, being a stream, bro. Being a stream. So people hate Twenty One Savage because yeah. he lives in America. He's been living in America for twenty years, more, more for than most of his life. Yeah. But eight, eight, life, eighty-five percent yeah. of his life been in America. He's a Caribbean black brother, and people don't like him because he's because he's a Caribbean brother in America, but he's actually English. Yeah. Once again, for me, that, that that just shows like how that shows how deep the problem is. That shows you a deeper problem. You get me, though. Mm. That shows you a very very deep problem within society. So within the black society, within the general society as well, not even just the black society, but it's like even the people that are taking the piss out of them getting deported. Like I don't rate that, bro. Like how can you take the piss out of someone getting deported, bro? Yeah. It's not fault of his own. Yeah. Like he hasn't gone out of his way to do something wrong. Do you get me? He just comes down through circumstance. Mm. And once again, back to our thing of perception. Mm. He's perceived himself to be American and American citizen. Because 85% of his life, he was in America. Mm. However, just because he was born in the country and he was there for eight years of, of, of his of his youth, mm. but he spent all of his adolescence in America, mm. that's now a problem for him. And for me, it's very ignorant of people to kind of see him as someone that's not American, or see him as somebody that's that, that's bad, or see him as someone that's not what he's saying he is. You understand? Because you know, I, I don't really agree with them things there, man. But at the end of the day, it's all personal perception. It's all come down to. Your personal feelings, bro. So. Yeah, personal freedom. I'm not too but, personal feelings, personal feelings, bro. So. And, and convenience, right? But the thing is, freedom should not give you the, the warrant to create problems for others. That's true. Right? So your your freedom, basically, people say your freedom ends at um, what? At the tip of your nose, <laughs> basically, because that's the longest. If you start straight, that's a probably the longest uh, part of your body mm. right well it, it, I, I don't know who coined that term but depends on you know the shape of your nose right but, um, it does make sense because your freedom relates to just you right it's a personal thing so your your freedom is different from my freedom of course 100 right it, it comes down to preferences as well mm. and choices so, um, so the, don't you think that this Eidos movement is divisive or divisive? 
it, it, it can create, it can definitely create a division. Do you get me? Like there's, there, for me, there, there's enough division. Do you understand right now? There's enough division right about now, bro. So you don't really need any more in the world or society in general. So I feel like just the fact that it's even a movement, it just becomes much more of a problem. But people can use it as a bit more of a justification for, for making it having a problem. They're using it as a political movement. Of course, you get me. Bro. So I feel like nowadays, any, anyone's figuring out any reason to find a problem with something and any reason to justify something uh, it's, it's not me it's they blame it on the movement rather than their personal feelings and their thoughts right. so it's just something to pass blame to be honest with you and something just to distract from the actual root of the problem yeah. which is people not accepting what they are who they are and where they come from once again perception ignorance right. all of these things still come back into play so the key words i feel like the, the two key words are perception and ignorance right, right. perception so, and what, ignorance what would you suggest if African Americans want, want reparation, what do, what do you suggest they do? Well, I'm, Other I'm, than falling under the banner of ADOS, because that doesn't make sense. Because everybody else in the United States, majority of people in the United States, the Caribbean. I'll tell you one thing about the Caribbean, right? My my family, my DNA family. My DNA family in Jamaica is African American, and my DNA family in uh, Bahamas. So I love Bahamas as well. My DNA family in Bahamas is is African. So when they say African American, right, it means like you said, your your last name is English, right? Mm. My last my last name is English American as well. Mm. It, it's along the line of James. Okay. My last I just don't want to put my, my last name out there in public, but it's it's in. It's only about smart people to grasp it, but and then, you know the other name for James, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's my last name. So it's English, and we all know the American, uh, the U.S. background, kind of Canadian background is, is mainly British background. Yeah. And the British funded the slave trade to and fro from Africa to to the United States. So my when we say African American, it's an ethnic group. No doubt, it's an ethnic group of Africans, indigenous Africans, right, mixed with European blood. Okay, so when you take when you take an African DNA, uh, an African American DNA, you you will see at least twenty percent, at least twenty percent European blood, either yeah. British, Irish, German, French. Mm. Right? And hence why you have that name. Yeah. Hence why I have that name. Exactly. Okay. So, what it is with um, Jamaica was, they used to, before any any slave or enslaved people got to the United States, right? Yeah. They, need, they, they used to break them down in the Jamaicans, in the Caribbeans. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They told them how to be slaves in the Caribbeans before they shipped them to, to the United States. Mm. And say in the United States, if they were to cultivate cocoa, uh, not cocoa, uh, tobacco, right, and the season is over, mm. they, they ship the same slaves mm. to Jamaica exactly, right. to, to cultivate uh, tomatoes or something, mm. right? Some of the slaves didn't go back to the United States, they stayed in Jamaica, yeah. and so on and so forth. So, the intermingling has always been there. You can't differentiate between a Jamaican and an African American because it's the same blood. Exactly. It's, yeah. on, it's only politics. Yeah, it's true. It's true, blah, blah, blah. Are, are you going to go? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get my Alright, well, I really appreciate your time. Um, uh, we'll name, uh, my channel is Chief Drano. Chief Drano. Uh, yeah, make sure you uh, find me on YouTube and subscribe, alright? We'll, we'll catch you later. And um, if you contact Solo, if you want my contact, we'll chat later. Yeah, so uh, Cheers. Alright, bro. Yeah, you didn't give us your name, sorry. Jay. 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 Yeah, Jay. Thanks. Thanks, Jay. Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, family. So yeah, uh, yeah, you, uh, you all you all saw this family. Right, I'll I'll put the mic down. Yeah, so it's this is how we build here, right? This is how we build yeah, up against the Melbourne. Uh, you you heard from the brother, okay. He's from the Caribbean, you know, uh, he was born in the UK, you know, his, he, come, he came to visit us, you know, he came to visit us in, in, in Australia, so um, yeah.
So yeah, brother, uh, when you're done, you can come back to join us, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you like to, it's happening here. <coughs> yeah, so um, a whole lot of people understand the movement. They know what, what it is to be Pan-African. If you, if you want to solve, hey brother, this, this is something you, you, you should hear, right? Um, one of the black rev revolutionaries, uh, by the name Kwame Toure, right? He, he said that every, every, um, what was it? Every fight against oppression has been, has been done in ma mass organizations. Or has been done through mass organizations, okay. i.e., the Black Panther Party, uh, a civil rights movement, anything to bring change, political change, has been done through mass movements. So, if you want, if you want to really create change, there has to be something of a grand scale, on a grand scale, such as Pan Africanism, which tackles a global problem right so i do not understand where the mis miseducation came from the ignorance came from about pan-africanism what is so bad about pan-africanism what is so difficult about pan-africanism that people can understand right I, I, yeah, thank you, brother. I really want to understand what, what, what is your perspective? What do you understand is, right. is the problem? Why can't people unite? Why can't people see that Pan Africanism is the, is the grand solution for all our problems? Um, come on, you see, come in. Come in, come, come on, camera. Come on, camera. Tell me. What, tell me what's the problem. Tell the me what's the problem. problem. You know, like, just have to do a nice life. You know, like, you have to. To correct your life, you don't do something bad. Do like just go work hard. Work hard, right? Yeah, work hard and do so, school. So just don't, don't do bad. We have to do something, you know. Like we, really, you have to know what to do. You know, like if you know, like yeah, if you work in, if you do something, whatever, you have to do plan. You have to follow the plan if you get it. That's right. If you two is three is ten is yeah, like that's not about it. Yeah, that's like that. I don't know. I can't tell you like that. Like fuck that. Right, right. But like, right. it's just you know like you have to think. You have to, uh, but you know like don't listen. Don't listen for people. You have to work for yourself. Your head, right? That's right. You always have to think. So, so this is what I say, right? You, you always have to have. You have to be smart. You have to be real. You have to be smart. You have to be brave. And above all, you have to be real, right? Yeah. So, um, this, this is what I, 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 I said before. Come closer. Damn, I've got a lot of hair in my mouth. So, you always have to have situational awareness, isn't it? You have to, you have, to have situational awareness. And, and this is what, 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 what I say. Right, STA. Right, you have to stop first when you face with a problem. Right, stop. Okay, think before you act. STA. 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 Stop. Think. Act. Act. Perform it. Perform a task. So if you have a problem. You pause, you think about it before you do anything. Yeah, you have to yeah, you have careful. Yeah, you have to yes. careful. So this is this is what it is. That's that's right. Yeah. So this 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 is this is the number one rule yeah. to, to solving any problem. <laughs> any problem at all. Okay. Any solution, but a lot of a lot of um our people, black people, right? We've been conditioned so much. We have so many problems, right? We can't stop to think. Yeah. So if we face with a problem, right? 
we, we quickly just react without thinking first, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, Pan-Africanism is a panacea for all our problems, okay? It's not in, it's not in dividing ourselves based on <laughs> who went through slavery and who didn't go through slavery, all right? And, and I, I am, the reason why I'm so focused on, on the United States is, is that you know, the United States is the leader of the free, free world, Everything the U.S. does, right? Every other country in the world learn from it, right? Yeah. They, they create, they create um, an environment where everyone imitates. Everyone tries to copy the culture. And especially, and this is coming from um, African Americans or black people in, 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 the, in the United States. Music, art, you know, everything we do, everybody else wants to imitate. So... So if, we, if black people in the United States, if they promote love and unity and, and everything else in, under the, in the context of Pan-Africanism, everybody else is going to follow it. Okay, so I don't see where the fear is coming from. Right? All right, you see? Yeah, you're following me. All right. So Zidane, you want to say something? What's good, fam? Yeah. I'm Chief Drino, I'm a YouTuber. Chief Drino. Hey, do you mind being on YouTube? You don't mind? Sweet. All right. The camera is on you, Zidane. <laughs> All right, so. So I, I am addressing. Where, where are you from, though? Uh, I'm from Australia. I was born in Australia. Yeah, we are Australians, yes. But um, origin, family. Check. Oh, sorry. Well, that's a nice mix there. <laughs> the last time I met a girl from, uh, she was um, part, uh, half Filipino and half um, uh, Palestinian. <laughs> so yeah, this, this is Australia, isn't it? Yeah. So, do you agree that the future of Australia is is mixed? Yeah. Definitely, right? Yeah. I'm sure. Mixed. We already mixed, don't we? So, Czech Republic is. Would you say that is um, East, Eastern Europe or Southern Europe? Have you ever been to Czech Republic? Uh, I haven't been. I think it's more Eastern. More Eastern, but it's Mediterranean, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've seen I've seen photos and yeah. friends have been there. Uh, Czech Republic, uh, Croatia, Turkey, very beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, so the topic is Pan-Africanism, right? It's a global unification of everyone of African descent. Do you agree to that? Pan-Africanism is the global unification of everyone of African descent. Thank you. So how old are you, if I may ask? <laughs> right. So, family, if you, if you have a 16-year-old that understands that everyone came from Africa, right? So, what, what is the vitriol? What, why, why can't you understand? Why is there so much ignorance, okay, to accept that you are, you are African? Someone wants to have a haircut? No worries. All right. So, yeah, I've got to be because, so, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll chat. I'll let you have your haircut and then we'll, we'll have a chat later, right? Yeah. All right. Any, anything else you want to say to the family? Uh, uh, African Americans or Australians? Uh, stay safe, don't cause too much trouble, and enjoy yourself. All right. And stay away from drugs. Yeah. That's it. 16 year old, you need to stay away from drugs. All right. All right. Keep safe. Thanks. Thanks, brother. All right. So, yeah, I'm just going to move my stuff. I think this stream is going to be a really short one because I it's Saturday. I've got to go home and chill out, right? So I, my haircut is finished. Uh, Jay. So I've got uh, over there. We have a 16-year-old, right? 
that that basically said that we all originated from Africa. Yeah. Right. So why is it so difficult for very matured people right, to understand that we all came from Africa? Right. Ignorance, right? So it, it, it's, it's the ignorance, isn't it? So yeah, uh, Hank had it finished. I'm just gonna hang out a bit for a while and then I'll, 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 I'll head. I'll head back home and enjoy my Saturday. Uh, yeah, so. Um, Yeah, it's hard to, I don't know where everyone else is, but it's hard to um, get people to come in and join the stream. But this is, I'm gonna upload this, so if you, if you miss the stream, you can, you can catch the replay, All right? So Barbie Shop, episode, uh, episode four. Uh, I'm here with, with the brothers. I just had a haircut and um, uh, Jay, Jay's behind me, Solo is behind me. Um, what's up, Kaz? And we, we, we talked about Pan Africanism and hashtag ADOS. You know, and um, you know, Jay, Jay was born in England, and you know, ne nearly every black person in the in the U.S. is um, solving the uh, the race problem. Peace, brother. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you. Uh, yeah. We, we're building here, we're, we are building here in, um, I'm building here with the family in, um, in Footscray, a suburb of Melbourne, Australia. And um, yeah, we, we're talking about Pan-Africanism is, is the panacea for all our problems, okay? We're, we're, when we identify, we, we know what the problems are. We know what the problems are. We don't need to identify them. Not, we, we, even it, even though it's necessary to align them, it's not important. It's not as important as the solutions. Okay. And the grand solution is, is unity. Okay. In unity, we have strength. In unity, we fix, we fix all our problems. Thanks, bro. So uh, this is what it is. All right. So the stream is approaching um, one hour. Hey, Solo. Any last words before I, I sign I sign off? Peace, fam. Uh, I have to build with you on the black experience there and how the colonizers did Aboriginals. All oh, right, 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 fam. Yeah, we we can talk about that. Uh, but um, you know, my my we I, I wouldn't want to talk too much about about problems. Okay. I uh. Definitely the black experience, we can talk about that, but I'm not gonna talk about how <laughs> the U Europeans did the, uh, you know, the Aboriginal people here. I won't t talk too much about that, but there's so many sources out there that you can, you, can, you, can, you can look into, right? But definitely the black experience, definitely. So, uh, yeah, any last words, Charles? Brother Jay? Pleasure. Remember, bro, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> People are fickle. Ignorance and perception. The two right. main words, ignorance and perception. Right. Remember, I'll leave you there, boys. Boys and girls, I'll leave you there. So, so any solution, though? Don't be ignorant and, and have the perception that opinion is opinion, fact is fact. That's right. People are very opinionated, but if the facts are there, at the end of the day, you can, you can look in yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you're not African. Right. But right. your reflection will tell you you're African, so you're lying to yourself. Right, that's all it so comes down to. So it's deception, right? Once again, deception. deception. Anything else? Not much other than stay blessed, God bless, and thank God for another day, man. Yeah, that's right. That's it. Okay, cool, cool. All right, my brother Solo. Any last words, guys? Melbourne's finest barber. Peace, peace, peace. That's it, that's Melbourne's right. finest, bro. He's the best barber, you know what I mean? Straight up. Up. Why are you always me. about business, bro? Say something about Africa, cause. Come, come see me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, you want to talk about the Ethiopian airline that crashed? 
much. <laughs> um, I don't know about it much, but... Are you serious? Yeah. You don't follow Ethiopian news? Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, anything else? Yeah, have a nice, blessed day. Yeah? Um, yeah, I'm here all the time. Just come see me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <You're>, uh, <laughs> Hashtag solo. Quick, quick yeah, fake. <laughs> <laughs> Solo Baba Fusque. That's right. That's my Instagram. Opposite, right. the one opposite A and Z. You get me? Not the other one. That's yeah. right. The one opposite A and Z. You can't miss the spot though. Everybody in Melbourne knows Solo. Get me, bro. Say Solo. You can't, they know, you can't, bro. You can't miss this. They say trim haircut. Solo. So, get me. Hey, do you do you want to say one word? Black experience in Australia. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You guys. Once again, I always compare a lot of things back to England. Yeah. Australia is not a racist country. Right. It's an ignorant country. <laughs> I'll leave it no, there. But I think a lot of Aussies are switched on though. A lot, but not enough. Do you know Aussies are very quick to point out racism? They are. But but they're the ones that are ignorant. <laughs> so yeah, so ignorance. the ignorance is always there. And you know my channel, when you go on my channel, my main video is 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 you know dispelling the myths and the misconception about African people, right? Mm. And, and try trying to to, to you know destroy the ignorance and Can't. educate yeah so not until we get rid of ignorance we're going nowhere exactly but, but, but guess what ignorance will always be there it'll always be there bro because it's perception bro once again it's pe people's uh, perception and your perception creates your reality it's true <laughs> which is sad but yeah very sad but guys stay blessed all right I'm not stressed all right. Oh, I love that one. Repeat that. Repeat. Repeat. Stay blessed, not stressed. All right. Repeat. Stay. Stay blessed, not stressed. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, I like that. All right. Perfect. Uh. All right. So, I. Uh, hey guys. I'm. I'm on YouTube. Do you guys want to be on YouTube? You all right? You good? You want to say? You want to shout out? Yeah. You want to say a shout out? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Say something. Say something to the family. What do you want me to say? Anything. The topic is Pan-Africanism is the panacea. So it's panacea is sort of like a uh, the medicine that fixes all, all illnesses. Yeah. So basically Pan-Africanism is a global unification of everyone of African descent. Yes, sir. Yeah, so so Pan-Africanism, which is unity, will, will solve all our problems as black people. So what, what do you have to say? That's a bit too much, you know. I just got off work and sit. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I just got off work as well, but I'm yeah. chilling here, right? Building yeah. a family. I'm a first grade shit. We chilling, trying to get a haircut. Yeah. And um, what I'm trying to say is like, first, do you want to introduce yourself? Like, oh, uh, my name is Milky. Like, yeah. Uh, y'all can add me on Instagram, M I K O W three O zero two. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got. You've been you've been live for like sixty three minutes. Yeah. I I, I stream my my entire haircut. Oh. Uh, uh, Oh, that's what's up. You're looking fresh, crispy. Oh, thanks. Thanks, brother. Yeah. So, what I want to say is Pan-Africanism. Yeah. Uh, so, where, where are you from, though? Where are you from? I'm from Ethiopia, originally. Ethiopia. Yes, yeah, sir. Do we, look, do we have any difference? Um, uh, no, 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 no. Africa. We look the same, don't we? Yeah, we do. Like, but where you from? <laughs> We're brothers. Where are you from? I was born in Ghana. Ghana. I'm from Ethiopia, but that's West right. Africa. I'm East Africa. <laughs> West North, North but Africa. This, but the thing is, we've never been colonized. Oh yeah, yeah. True, that's the point. We, we know that. We know that. <laughs> that. That's where our king is. Yeah. Right. Ethiopia is our, ho our homeland, right? Yeah, that's homeland. where we all came from. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. So, um, Haile Selassie is, you know, yeah, yeah, and sir. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah formed yeah. the Organization of African Unity yeah, to unite all Africans together. Uh huh. So, I, I, I'm and anyone else who is pan, uh, pan African yeah. is just following the footsteps of. Um, Hail is the last thing Dr. Kwame Nkrumah to unite everyone of African descent. Yes, sir. So Pan Africanism, right, mm -hmm. is a is a panacea for all our problems. So when we united, yeah, we uh, we are united. We love each other. We we promote each other. We help each other, right? We yeah. help the, the black the community. Community. Yeah, the black community. So yeah, just just uh, expound on that. Say something. Uh wherever we are like wherever country we go yeah as we all know like black people's uh, like yeah. they're gonna have a good, good relationship no matter what they're gonna help each other out yeah it doesn't matter where you're from like the specific area you know right right as long as you're black people they're gonna help each other out that's right that's, that's, that's the whole community that's the whole point but th this is not what's going on at the moment on social media 
yeah. especially in the United States. They have they have a, a movement now called um, um, hashtag ADOS, yeah. which basically separates people that were enslaved in in, in the United States. Mm-hmm. Okay. It separates them from every other black person in the United States. Yes, so in the United States, we have people that were enslaved in the United States, uh-huh. right? And then the Caribbeans, so yeah. Haiti, Jamaica, Honduras, uh, uh, Dominican Republic, you know, all the, Brazil, every, everybody else in the Caribbean, South America, all in, in the United States because of the economic opportunities there. Right, like how our parents came to Australia yeah. for the economic opportunities like for to us. grow. Yes, sir. So now they they demanding reparations. Yeah. Which we know that if you are enslaved unjustly, you you were pushed through, uh, you know, slavery, Jim Crow, and all, and all that, all these problems, social problems, mm-hmm. okay, or race racism. Mm-hmm. Okay, you do need reparation. Yeah. So, in in order for you to get your reparation do you think it's right to call yourself a descendant of slave just so you can have this reparation no, which sir. and separate yourself from the family the, no, the, the pan-african family no sir right so tell us something about that um for that but i just want to raise a point as long as we were black to every like um when people die now for example like when people are unmarried they they were white Right. As long as we were black for some t- for some occasion, that's sad. Yeah. In my opinion, slavery is going to live forever. So what I'm trying to say is, let's try to change that. And um, yeah, that's what I gotta say right now. All right, uh, peace, peace, uh, Ninja boy. Thanks for joining the stream. Yes, uh, he's he's telling he's telling me to preach. <laughs> yes, yeah. So um, this is more than preaching. Uh, this is more like education, really. So um, uh, preaching. Okay, you can choose to 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 not hear it, but. This is something that's going to unite us. This is what's going to fix our problems. Yeah. So these are facts. All right? These are not fables and, and, and fic- fiction. You know? these, these are real, real facts. Yes, sir. All right. So, what um, you need to look out? Uh, Chief Drino. Yeah, yeah so uh, your name is uh, Malik, Malik? Yeah. Malik, yeah. All right. I'll find you on Insta- Instagram. So I'll, I mainly do um, YouTube and Insta. So yeah, if you go on my channel, my YouTube channel, you, you see my Instagram linked to my, my channel and and it's all of Africa okay the single most richest landmass on the planet okay we've got everything cars everything everything you can just name it you just name it, it. We, we've got it <laughs> but it, the only thing is we are not in control of it right we we are not in uh, proper control of it so say Eric, Eric B crazy thanks for joining the stream uh, family uh, yeah thanks for joining the stream so, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I think they, they already subscribed. Um, but yeah, uh, you, you, you got you, you got YouTube cars. Yeah, yeah, you got go, go yeah, on YouTube yeah, and find the cars. Yeah. So, um, are you sure? Are you sure, brother? You don't want to say anything? Is he your brother? You look alike us. Yeah. Twin brother. Oh Sorry, shit. Nah, uh, <laughs> oh come on. If he's on, you should be on as well. Come on, come on, come on. Say something. Okay, you say something. Hold the mic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you gonna be on? Okay. Okay, have it. Yeah, yeah, say whatever. Oh, hold the mic. Whatever. 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 But at the end of the point, like at the end of the day, we're brothers. You know what I mean? We're known as Africans. Exactly. We're black. We're Africans. Brothers. Yes. Yeah. You live in Futsuka. I live in Chagadina. What's the I difference? Live, we, we all in Mel- oh, you live in Chagadina. Yeah. Yeah. What's the well, difference? What's the difference? We 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 both Melbourne. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, right down, just saw it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Anything done. else? Shout out your Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is King underscore Savage double S Savage. You just follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this guy channel. Uh, Chief Dino's channel. Yeah. Yeah. And shout out to that barber. Zidane. Zidane. <laughs> shout out to the best barber right there. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I think it's Yusuf. And, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I think it's Solo. Yeah, Solo's right there. Don't deny Solo. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. All right, all right, family.
Chief Drano. Yeah, my YouTube channel is Chief Drano. Oh uh, yeah, family, you you heard it. You heard it from the the brothers, uh, Ethiopian brothers. You know, Chief. Uh, it's it's um for a uh, one word. C H I C H I E F D R Y E F. So backspace. I E F E. You miss backspace. Clean the F. Go back. Uh, I should make a card, right? Mm. Just give it out. D R Y. Um, uh, D R Y N Y N O. N O. D R Y N O. D R Y N O. Yeah. Chigano, yeah. Just search that, you'll find me. Yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm out here building building with the family, okay, in Footscray. Solo's barbershop. Solo's barbershop. <laughs> That's it. All right, Malik. Thanks for joining the stream. Yeah, I'm gonna, as always, I go about, uh, I'll show you a bit of. Um, uh, Chief Rana. C H I. N O. Ah, just that. Did you find me, Carl? Yeah, I got Yeah, that's me. So I've got, I currently have 419 subscribers. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> so subscribe. Right. Subscribe. I've got a disciple. <laughs> right, right. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go show you a bit of foot scray. Okay, and um, uh, we we should we should chill out. Right. All right. Solo. 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 Yeah, so, yeah, family. I'll show you the black experience in Australia. Uh, uh, right. My, my stand is on. Ray Bon. So, yeah, foot spray. Beautiful foot spray. Okay, black people everywhere. All right. As always, barbershop episode four, or the barbershop uh, barbershop episode. I always go on the streets of Footscray. Okay, so I show you around. I'll show you around town. Okay, this is how we do. Okay. So this is Footscray. Vibrant. Okay, today's gonna be 32 degrees. Beautiful weather. Okay, beautiful weather, everyone is out and about. Okay, Africans everywhere. Okay. Africans everywhere. Alright. So yeah. Uh, I'm trying to fix my mic. Okay. So uh, you see the Afri African flags, I've done this before, so I'm not going to do too much of that. Alright, so, yeah. The topic is, Pan-Africanism is a panacea for all our problems, right? The single remedy to fix our problems when we unite. I'd love to see some known faces to, um, to maybe interview. Yeah, everyone is just chilling out. Everyone's just chilling out. Right. Right, right. Everyone's just chilling out. So, yeah. 
let's cross the road and see what's what's on the other side right i'll take you down the street so yeah does anyone does anyone have a question about australia the black experience in australia uh crazy chief i watched the live stream with you and o'shea i like the way you handle yourself an african forever thanks brother thank you thank you uh i could have done more it was it was really early what's good brother what's good uh yeah i uh, i have been you know doing this for a while now uh it's been the second time i've been on o'shea's channel uh o'shea's a really uh great brother he's a very very intelligent brother um, but he spews a lot, a lot of rhetoric okay just as every every other african-american does okay and it's ignorance all right it's ignorance and we need to we need to cure it okay we need to cure it so um, yeah so that, that stream with O'Shea was was early in the morning I was just woken up and I was just like yeah let's do it right let's do it so uh, just waking up to it and um, yeah you know how it is when it's early in the morning it's hard to think sometimes but yeah I did I did my best you know I did my best to handle the, um, that business that side of things so so yeah so in, in Footscray th this part of Footscray is is very um, Asian uh, so you have a, a lot of Chinese people hang around here uh, uh, Vietnamese, I think Vietnamese people, or a lot of Vietnamese people hang around this part of uh, Footscray. Uh, you, you, would, so you see a few Africans hang around here, but much of the Africans hang on the other side, the south side of, of Footscray. So that's where you find a lot of the African businesses. You find a lot of the African businesses. Sorry, so it's a bit, bit windy. It's a bit windy right now, but I hope you can hear me. So, yeah, walking, walking down the streets in Footscray. Okay, it's a very, very chilled atmosphere. Okay. Very chilled atmosphere. Okay. People crossing the streets. You know. So yeah. entire street of uh, Footscray, people hanging out in Footscray, it's all here, Nicholson Street. Okay. This is where a lot of people hang out in Footscray. And it's very, very, very multicultural. I'll let you down the street called, uh, I think it's uh, Barker Street. The street is called Barker Street in Footscray. Okay. Uh, this street will take you straight into the city. So down this road you can see the skyscrapers of Melbourne. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, Footscray is just uh, on the outside of uh, Melbourne City, so, yeah, basically just two kilometers from the Melbourne CBD. So there's been talk to include Footscray in, in Melbourne CBD in the coming future, so, yeah. So anyone has a question about Pan-Africanism? Does anyone have a question? Where can I find that? You and O'Shea. All oh, right, Niger boy, you can find it on um, O'Shea's channel. Uh, type in um, why a ADOS is a bad movement for African Americans or for black people. So yeah, I will I will um, share the stream in in the um, African YouTubers um, WhatsApp group if you like yeah why the ados movement is bad for african americans and my my whole my whole premise is we, we're not descended from slaves i mean 1865 is a while ago two three generations depending on how old you are five generations even so you're telling me all the people that came after uh, slavery ended nobody was was great nobody did anything greater than being being regarded as a slave of course not 
<laughs> my grand my grandparents on both sides were all were all in the army. Okay, we, we were warriors. I descended from well, warrior blood, you know. Royals as well. And I and I go about um, I talked about my DNA as well. I I'm descended from Ramesses the Third of Egypt, ancient Egypt. Okay, so. We are we are great people. So I, I do not like the idea that people latch on the narrative that we descended from slaves. I mean, it's so demeaning. Okay, uh, it's it's so belittling. Okay, you can't you can't describe yourself as that. So yeah, just because you want reparations, okay, it's political. Okay? You have to approach it uh, through through politics. And not not calling yourself slaves. So yeah. So yeah, that's a police car driving past. So yeah. No police presence. Keeping us all safe. Right. Keeping us all safe. So I'm just gonna show you. So yeah, you can see down the street you can see Africans there chilling. Okay. Like they always do. Like they always do. Africans everywhere. Mama. Yeah, yeah. Africans everywhere. Right. So yeah. Um, Solo Solo has another uh, barber shop which belongs to his uncle. So uh, this is what, what what black businesses so supporting each other. Right. So I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go in there and, and say hi to the family. Okay. This is uh, Solo Senior Shop. Yeah, come with me. What's good, family? Bye. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Long time no see. <laughs> Long time no see. I'm, I'm on YouTube. Do you want to say anything to the family? So this is Solo's uncle, right? <laughs> the senior Solo. So say something. You can, you can speak uh, Amharic, is it? Amharic? Yeah, speak Amharic. <laughs> All right, just speak English. What, what is the black experience in Australia? My friends want to know. My friends, yeah. So I've got, I've got three people watching right now. Is it great? It's great, right. And I've been going to solo. I've been going to you, <laughs> your, your nephew. Right, so I go, I go to see him. You, you're always busy. You're always busy here. So I come here. You're always busy. Is that Hall FM? Oh, Sunshine. Did he open his own business? Yes. Oh, wow, well, great. Great, great, great. All right, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. I'm a YouTuber now. Yeah, so I, I'm promoting, you know, African unity. You know. Um, yeah, so we, we need to we need to unite, right, and fix our problems. Okay, so we we need to stop the tribalism right? and, and know that we only have one home, which is Africa, right? and we unite. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this, this is what I do. Right. Sorry, family. Right. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, he's an African family. They love having a haircut. Yeah. Bye, Baba. Have you want to ask questions? Yeah. Do you, you, you want to say anything? Brother? May I? You have nothing to say, brother. Oh, come on. Say something. What, what is the black experience in Australia? I have no idea, man. You have no idea? Oh, come on. You have a lot of ideas. I'm pretty sure what you do. You what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Oh, like, I promote Pan-Africanism. Unity amongst everyone of African descent. Okay. Unity amongst black people. Yeah, black people, we have to unite you know, here That's because it. this this country is not our country. Yes. So as long as we came here and we're progressing, so we have to unite ourselves. You know. Right, right. 
But we are mm. Australians, though. So this is our country as well. Yeah, it's our country, but you know, you gotta know that where you come from. You know, we right. all come come from different country. Right, right, right. So, origin. Origin. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, anything else you want to say? What do you think is the future of the African Union? The future of African unity is the African Union. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The headquarters is in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. Yeah. Yes. And uh, in Sudan, uh, last year a few of my friends went to Khartoum. They had the uh, Pan African Museum conference. So there's a lot of movement towards the African Union, uniting together, peace, helping each other. Yes. So, uh, do you think there's a future in that for, for our people? Of course, yeah, there's a future. Yeah. There's a future for our people. Right. And do you think in 100 years uh, Africa would will be economically successful as Australia? Africa is already successful. You know, there's some countries that are better than Australia. Let me say that. Oh right. right? Okay. It doesn't mean that you know when you come to Australia because Australia is better than other countries. Right. Right. There's right. some African country which is very rich. Really right. yeah, they're doing well and yeah. which you know progressing all things. Right. It's not. It's not all about it. Right, right, right. I don't see any, any different here, you know. Right. <laughs> right, right. It's just uh, circumstantial, isn't it? Yeah. So circumstances, different, different circumstances. Yeah. 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 It's uh, only political issues there. Political, yes, yeah. political. Right, right. So any, is there anything else? No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, what was your name? I'm Paul. Paul, yeah. thank you. Thank you for... Uh, talking to us, Paul. Okay, uh, the family love it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My name. <laughs> oh, his, his name is Paul. Oh, my name, my name is uh, Chief Drano. And, and my YouTube channel is Chief Drano. Yeah, so I have a YouTube channel. I promote Pan-Africanism. So unity amongst everyone of African descent. So this, this is what we do. Right. right. Yeah, so uh, if you go on YouTube, uh, you see a lot of videos from from my channel talking about African community in Australia, uh, Pan Africanism, and you know I talk about um, Sudan, uh, East Africa, Ethiopia. Message. No, no, it wasn't me, cuz. <laughs> it might be, might be somebody else. Oh, long time ago. <laughs> Right, right. All right, we need to catch up. Maybe my next ha haircut, I'll have it here. I'll have it with you. Okay, but, you know, you know, I always like to hang out with Solo. So. Right. All right, thank you. Thank you, bye. Cheers. So, yeah, bye, you managers. Um, this. What's up, brothers? Oh, you want, you want to say, you want to give a shout out? No, no. Yeah, come on, come on, guys. What's your name? Start from here, start from here, start from there. Start from there, come on. Don't finish you, come on, come on. Say something to the family, right? So yeah, yeah African, African barbershop. Welcome to Food Square. It's the best. The black experience in Australia. Food Square Melbourne. Right? Is that, is that brother getting a perm? Why not wear natural hair like Chief Rhino? <laughs> well, that, that's preferences, right? His ex. Ask, ask that person. That's his preference. I'm not going to question what he likes about, or what he wants to do about his hair. So, yeah. You know, he's got some blonde hair as well. So, yeah. Anyway, so this is the barbershop. Anything, everything happens here. Right. <laughs> What's up, brother? Hey. Yeah. I like your haircuts. It's not a hair. Yeah, I, I know, I know him. And you, you were, you were Baba here too. No, it wasn't a Baba. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Baba. Yeah, he was here before. He cut my hair before, right? A long time ago, right? You remember me? Yeah, you cut my hair before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Of course. <laughs> I always love, always love your haircut. Yeah, you guys are great. Right. Yeah. Anyone else want to say anything to to the family in Africa, to the world, Australia? 
Come on, I know you want yeah, to say something, right. cuz. I'm good, bro. Just tell yeah. us your name. Thank tell you, us bro. your name. No, I'm good, bro. You're good? Well, we, we all know you're good. Because you got that smile on your face. Look. <laughs> you're chilling out on, on, on Saturday. You having fun? You going to party? Yeah, you going to party? No, man, I'm good, bro. <laughs> you're good. All right, all right, family. You want to say something? Come on, cuz. I'm good, too, man. You yeah? Know, man. Too busy for now. Too busy for now. Later on. You One know? word. One when word. When I'm free. When I'm free. One word. Anything. Peace, love, unity. What do you think about the African Union? Great. Great. Okay, thank you. I like that. I like that. Great. All right, family. All right, bio. Thank you. All right, so, um, yeah, we'll catch you later. Okay? All right, peace out, fam. Thank you. So yeah, nice build with the uh, the guys here. You know, so this used to be Solo's barbershop, the first one. Okay, and then uh, Solo himself opened his own barbershop. So Solo has his barbershop now. Right. So yeah. Yeah. That's it. Shops, you know. African shops here and there. Throughout Footscray, this is how we do here. Okay. So yeah. See, this is this is how Africans Africans uh, greet one another. So, the culture here is still strong. Okay. The African culture here is still strong. Okay. Yeah. I'm going I'm going down the street. I'm gonna walk around the street. And yeah. So sounds and sights of Footscray. Yeah. These are all African businesses. African businesses, you know. Uh Everyone is having a good time. Okay. Peace, family. I'm on YouTube, cuz. YouTube. You want to be on YouTube? <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Peace, brother. All right. Normal. Oh, dude. What have you done? <laughs> All right. Okay, so, um, yeah. How much is a haircut in Australia? Okay, so you can get it, but it depends on, you know, where you have your haircut. Okay, it's between $20 to $30. Okay, so I, I get my beard trimmed in that, so because uh, of my mate, I get mates rate. Okay, I get I get family's rate. Okay, at solos, I get I get beard beard and haircut for twenty dollars. All right, so yeah, if you come to Australia, you go see solo, you get a family rate, right? You get a family rate. So it is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, but on average, uh, between $20 and $30, okay, if you're a male, you should, you should get your beard trimmed for that much. So yeah, so that would prob probably be about 26 US dollars. Yeah, so uh, yeah. So as you can see, African streets, okay. All the African flags. The Central African Republic. Be one for life. Thank you. Thank you for joining the, the, the stream. Peace, peace and love to you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, focus that South African flag.
Focus. That South African flag across the street. Uh, oh, that's a that's a Ghana flag even further across the street. But I'm not gonna cross the street. Okay. Uh, this is Footscray. Footscray has been has transformed a lot. Okay. There's a Footscray train station d down there, but I'm not gonna go there today. Maybe another another day. I'll go down there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So all all throughout the street, Footscray. See Cape Verde, Kenya. Okay. Uh, Eritrea. Uh, what do you want to see? Gambia, Libya, okay. Libya. Uh, what do we have there? We have Gambia, okay. Rwanda. Yeah, that's Rwanda. So yeah, hey, African flags everywhere. Okay, down down the street where the bus is coming from. Right across the street. I'm not gonna cross the street, but down that street. Okay, that is that is the la the land of my birth, right? I was born in this country. Okay, I'm on zoom focus. Okay, that's Ghana. All right, that's Ghana. That's a Ghana uh, Ghanaian flag. Yeah, I'll let the bus go for now. That's Ghana. All right, I'll, I'll go. I'll cross the street and show you. It's not very clear. I have to cross the street. I have to cross the street. Yeah. <laughs> Be one for life. Power to you, right? Power to you too. Thank you. All right, so. South Africa. Hi. Yeah, that was a beautiful girl saying hi. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I kind of. So there's a bridge, the train tracks. Okay. So we must uh, thank Australia for welcoming refugees and immigrants into, into Australia. Yeah, of course, of course. So this is what it is, right? We, we are very grateful. We are very grateful. And the African community here is very grateful. So yeah, like I say all the time, okay, racism is based on economics. Okay, so here. Republic of Ghana. Republic of Ghana. You won't find this anywhere else. Okay, you only find this in Footscray. It's a hub. Footscray is a hub for, for, for black people. Okay. Footscray is a hub for black people. Okay. Black people everywhere in Footscray. Okay, and the, and the streets are very clean. Okay, everything is in order here. Okay, people follow the rules. You won't, you won't see too much. You won't see any trouble here in Footscray. Yeah, not totally agree with that statement uh, about racism. <laughs> racism being econ economic based. Of course it is, brother. Is X. Can you can you tell me if if, if someone tells you 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 are you're a black monkey? Okay, do you believe that? You're gonna buy into that. Okay, are you gonna buy, buy into that and get your emotions hurt? Are you gonna do that? That's not what it is. That's not racism. That is that is just ignorance. Stupidity at best. Okay. Stupidity at best. So yeah, more more African flags. More African flags down the street. Okay, this is this is Guinea. Okay, this is Guinea. Uh, further down. See Guinea Bissau. Okay, all these African businesses. Okay, African businesses. Do you know any African Americans that have immigrated there to Australia? Yes, of course. Uh, there, there are a lot of African Americans here. Okay. There are a lot of African Americans here in um, in Melbourne. I uh, I know a few of them personally. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Always the new ones, bro. Of course it is. But yeah, we'll talk about it. That's why we talk about it. So yeah, the new ones is, need, always need to be addressed. How are you coming? Yeah, so uh, yeah. Well, I would never have known that 
Yeah, danger push. Yeah, so there is there is quite a big, <laughs> not so big, but considering Australia's population of 25 million, uh, yeah, less than one percent of Australia's population is black. Okay, less than one percent of Australia's population is black. But you know, there 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 is black population in Australia, not not as big, but not as big, but there is. And uh, believe it or not, the, the United States, a lot of uh, black people don't know this, but the United States has a, a visa, visa program okay, between uh, the United States and Australia. And, and, and believe it or not, there are over 100,000 Americans living in Australia. <laughs> over 100,000. So there are more Americans or people of the United States living in, in Australia than there are Australians living in the USA. So more, more Americans have, have used the visa program than Australians have. So if you are an American or someone, of, uh, someone from the United States of America who has uh, a US passport, you, you, you are entitled to a visa to migrate to Australia. Regardless of race, you know what I mean, I don't really subscribe to race, but regardless of skin color, whether you're black or white, okay, as long as you have an American passport, you are entitled to, to have a stay in Australia. So a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't know this. Even my manager at work is American. Okay. He's American. So a lot of Americans own... Um, Corporations here in Australia and businesses and whatnot. So, Coles is uh, one of our uh, franchises. Okay. Uh, they have a condominium apartments. Okay, yeah. So yeah. So yeah, that's why I promote I promote Australia to um, the family out there. Okay. Come visit Australia. If you like it, stay. And I bet you love it. Okay, it's autumn. It's beautiful. It is 32 degrees. Okay. Beautiful blue skies. Okay, we had some showers before. It's beautiful, sunny. Yeah. So yeah, everyone is really nice. Everyone is very friendly. And you saw the girl say hi to me across the street before. So yeah. So this is fruit crate. <laughs> That's me. That's my reflection in there. That's my reflection. <laughs> That's Chief Rhino. Right. Celtics, I'm wearing Celtic shorts. Okay, Celtics. Right. Bolton. Boston Celtics. Okay. So um, my city is Melbourne. Uh, this is Footscray. This suburb is Footscray. It's only just outside the Melbourne CBD. So yeah. Africans everywhere. Africans everywhere. Okay. Very, very vibrant, peaceful suburb. Okay. Another suburb in Melbourne that you find a lot of black people hanging out is called Sunshine. You know, throughout the western suburb you see a lot of black people. Okay. You should invite O'Shea. <laughs> yeah. I need to invite O'Shea to come to Let's see, let's see your, what city are you in? You should invite O'Shea to come visit. Yeah, O'Shea is always invited to, to Australia. O'Shea is always invited here. Okay, but you know O'Shea and his black people, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you love to come. It's beautiful, come see. Come see, cuz. It's beautiful here in Australia. Very beautiful and peaceful. I mean, this is home, okay? This is home. The black people, original black people here in Australia. So this is home. Right? You, never, you never feel lost here. Okay. This is home. You always feel at home here in Australia. So. Australia looks Aborigine. Yeah, of course. A lot of, a lot of our family look Aborigine. Okay. Even myself. <laughs> Even myself. <laughs> With my bra, my, my bra ridge, right? With my bra ridge. A lot of people get confused. <laughs> people think I'm Aboriginal. People think I'm from Papua New Guinea. 
people think I'm from Vanuatu. Yeah, so if I don't tell people I'm from, I'm from Ghana, I was born in Ghana, they can never guess it. Okay. Africans think I'm from like Rwanda and yeah, which my parents, my mother's side, they came from Rwanda, but yeah, I've never been in Rwanda. I've never been in Rwanda. But yeah. So it's all identity politics, okay, but if we if we unite and see ourselves as as ah uh, yes you look Rwandese yeah thanks thanks family thank you uh, there's there's one guy actually on YouTube is um, he's from Rwanda and I think I look so much like him <laughs> I think I look a lot like him but um, yeah so yeah Austra Australia is beautiful uh, I'm gonna be showing you more of it uh, in the future uh, down the line so yeah. Uh, as the channel grows, uh, you're going to be seeing more. I'm going to head out to the outback of Australia uh, when I can afford it, when I, when I can allocate enough time to do so. Uh, beautiful women in Rwanda, yes, yes they are. And apparently they're very confident as well. Okay. They're very confident too. So, Chief, what time is it there? Here in you know, New York is 11.38pm. It's... Uh, Oh jeez, it's quarter to 3 p.m. here, Saturday. So yeah, almost. Actually, 2:40 2 p.m. here in Melbourne. So 2:40 p.m. Saturday. Uh, yeah, so beautiful sunny day. It's autumn, and uh, we're still enjoying beautiful uh, summer days. 32 degrees today. It's so beautiful out here. Right. It's so beautiful and vibrant. Uh, I'll flip my camera again. Right. It's so beautiful out there. It's really sunny. Okay. You see the sun? Very sunny. Everything is beautiful. Okay. Africans everywhere, right? Africans everywhere. Yeah. Alright, family. <laughs> okay, Chief. <laughs> Good day, man. All right, good day. Uh, you hope you have a good night, uh, have a good sleep, and I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next live stream. Okay, as always, Chief Drano is always going to uh, push out the positive message. Uh, Pan Africanism, we need to unite. Okay, uh, we can do so much. Okay, what was what is his name? Um, uh, Stockley Car Michael. Okay, um, A.K.A. Kwame Ture. Okay, he he said that. Uh, in order for, for there to be any form of political change, political change, okay, we need to organize mass movements, okay. Every political, po political change had been implemented or taken place because of mass movements, okay. So, i.e. the civil rights movement, uh, i.e. the... Uh, anti-slavery ab 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 abolition okay all these were mass movements um, was it called um, fight for independence or everything else has been mass movements so in unity okay there's always strength we can always fight oppression and um, this is what I say right the bigger the better all right the bigger the better the bigger the family the better it is for us to do greater things. Okay, so it is all in Pan-Africanism. Okay, again, Pan-Africanism is the panacea for all our problems okay, facing black people. When we recognize the, the, the benefits of unity. Okay, the benefits of unity. The essence of uniting. Okay. Quintessential part of 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 being black, uh, african people okay when we unite we can achieve so much right we can achieve so much so uh yeah Shudrano at solo's barbershop okay one more time i'm gonna go in there for the last time and uh we see our family youtube 
I'm a YouTube family. Do you guys want to say anything? YouTube? Nothing? Peace to Africa? Nothing? Yeah, peace to Africa. What else do you want to say? You don't watch YouTube? You watch YouTube? Yeah, so do you want to say anything? Yeah, come on. Say something. Say something to the mic. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Habenium. Representing uh, Australia, Melbourne, Australia. We out here. What do you, what do you, JPV. hey? Uh, what's happening? Just, just yeah. talk to the mic. All right. All right, I'm talking to the mic. Hold, hold it. Hold the camera. Ooh. There we go. What up, what up? It's all me, yeah? I'm taking over. Uh, is it, do I talk about anything or I talk about anything? Huh? What you guys want me to talk about? Anything. Talk about uh, Pan-Africanism. Uh, where you from, though? By the way, where you from? I'm from Ethiopia. Ethiopia, okay. Yeah. So you know, I was born in Ghana. You know, Ethiopia and Ghana. Okay, we we we're, we're blood. Yeah, okay. we're blood. We're blood. So, um, east, west is the same. We're all the same. Yeah, right? all the same. So I promote Pan Africanism. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I watched I watched a few videos of Pan Africanism. That's right. Yeah, in America, so, a lot of that in America. A lot of it in America. Yeah. Because of the level of education, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right, but. Yeah. But in Africa, we're trying to promote Pan-Africanism as well. Yeah, we? that's good. So we, you're from a country that is known for Pan-Africanism. Yeah. Um, your former head of state, Hel uh, Haile Selassie, yeah, 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 did yeah, a Selassie. lot of Pan-Africanism. Okay. okay. And apparently, he, he allocated land to, to uh, Americans to move to Ethiopia. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. What did he do? He allocated, because uh, of the uh, Battle of Adawa, yeah. uh, a lot of African-Americans from the Caribbean. Yeah. Uh, came in and, and the United States came in to fight the Italians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in so, Adelaide, yeah? Yeah. So we have even pilots. Okay. Uh, Air, Air Force pilots coming yeah. from the United States. Yeah. Coming to fight the Italians. Yeah. Flying war, war planes and, 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 and blowing up the Italian army. So this is what uh, Haley Selassie did, gave them land. Yeah. So since, since the 1960s, there's always been land. Okay. We're in America. Oh, right. so he, in, in, I mean, in, in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, he gave the US land. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, I, I just don't know too much about it. I, 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 I just know the background story about it. But yeah. And I read a, an actual article about this um, Air Force pilot who, who dedicated his life to, to even fight uh, uh, for Ethiopia. So yeah, yeah, it's throughout, crazy. Throughout Africa, this is what Pan-Africanism uh, Pan is. Yeah. Right? So this is, so in 2019, we should not forget that. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. And we should keep pushing the global unification of everyone of African descent. Sure. So, yeah, this is what my channel is about. Yeah, man. I follow, I follow yeah, a lot so. of um, Instagram pages. Oh, uh, you know? yeah. Shout out, shout out your Instagram. My Instagram? Diddy underscore F50. That's D-I-D-D-Y underscore F50. Where's uh, the camera? Yeah. Let it focus. Let it focus? Too, too much. D-I-D-D-Y underscore F50. Okay. On the back. Well, so, uh, you got a lot of subbies, bro. So I follow, I follow, I follow stuff like my son General. Yeah. You know so what, what do you talk about on Instagram? No, nah, Instagram. I don't talk much. I don't talk much on Instagram. Just show off your good looks. No, nah, not even, man. I got. I follow more people than um followers. You know. <laughs> I got half the amount of followers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're trying to make them follow you back. Yeah. Because it goes both ways. Yeah. True that. True that. Right. It's just a private love, Instagram. Love though. goes both ways. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, dude looks very Ethiopian. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in Ethiopia, there are a lot of ethnic groups, right? There are some Ethiopians that look like they're from Angola. There's some Ethiopians that look like they're from Egypt. There's some yeah. Ethiopians that look like they're from West Africa. So Ethiopia is like a like a melting pot, isn't it? Yeah, entirely. It is, and, and tell you, that's what Africa is. Yeah. Right. I was born here. I don't. I don't know much about Africa. Oh, you were born in Australia. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you tell us. Tell us about Australia. Tell us your black experience in Australia. Black experience. Well, I came here as a, as a kid myself. So. Uh, well, I, mean, I guess growing up, you know, I was into different different sorts of music. This, this, that. Yeah. But well, what is your tribe in uh, in, in, uh, in um, Ethiopia? Tigray. 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 Oh, so Tigray Tigray region. Right. That's right. where I'm from. I've right. been there twice before. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Three months. Three months each time. Right. Growing That's up in Australia, yeah. I mean, I guess we, I guess we got a good, <laughs> we got a pretty easy, but then as you get older, it's really like hard. It's really hard, you know. Right. It's like everything's against you. Yeah. <laughs> when you, you know get I mean? older. Yeah. When you get older. Yeah. What, what What do you mean by that? Can you tell it? Like, can you tell the family. 
I was I was very charismatic when I was younger, you know. Yeah, I like could, a Christian. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was very charismatic. Religious. Charismatic, not religious. Charismatic. Oh, charismatic. Like, in I thought I could be anything. Right. I still do, but you know, I could be any, anyone, any who. Yeah. I, I didn't listen to much rap music. I was listening to my, um, a lot of Michael Jackson. Right, right. Then as soon as I hit 12 years old, 13 years old, that's when smoking came in the scene. <laughs> Everything and then the environment. It's just no good, you know. Shout out to I, the Baba. I got, you, you look like. Um, a bit like Bob Marley without the dreads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. uh, there, there are a few questions here. We can, we can answer them. Yeah. So they're asking questions. All right. Um, Ezex, uh, Danger Pooch says, um, yeah, homie looks very Ethiopian. Blessings, young brother. So young brothers. So yeah, uh, blessings. Cheers, brother. Yeah. Um, what is this one? Why are Ethiopian women so beautiful? Man. I don't know, man. I guess it's the African in them. <laughs> the African in them. <laughs> Azex, did you hear that? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Wait, Solo. There, there was one Ethiopian girl here. She was so cute. Yeah. But that, that Solo's right. woman, I bet. She stood down there. She stood down there. Right. So you heard that family. It's the African in them, okay? The African in them that makes them so beautiful. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. It's the melanin. It's the, yeah. what, what's the word? Melanin. Melanin, melanin in melanin. them. Melanin. But through, throughout Africa, right? I yeah. mean. Yeah, throughout Africa, beautiful women everywhere. Definitely. Beautiful women everywhere. Definitely, right? definitely, definitely. Yeah, so. Anything else you want to say? Uh, Pan Africanism, I promote Pan Africanism. Uh, the topic is Pan Africanism is a panacea. So it's the overall remedy for all our problems as black people. If we can come together and unite, we can fix ourselves. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree, man. I, I, I can't speak much about the subject, yeah, but I watch a lot of the um, videos. You, right. know? you need to subscribe Doctor, to my channel. I don't have a YouTube account. You don't have a YouTube. Create no, one. I'll create one Come for on, sure. Cause. I'll be a. Uh, uh, create one because that's where well, that's where the talking point is that's on it, YouTube. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's where the talking point is. <laughs> create, create a YouTube account. Yeah. Stop. Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you to stop Instagram there because nah. I'm on Instagram as well. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus. You know. Have you heard of um, use use your current. Um, Charis uh, charisma, yeah. Okay, to to say something positive, to educate yeah, a lot yeah, of people, sure. to uplift people's um, uh, persona. Yeah, you know? because you do you do sound like you have a lot of char uh, charisma. Yes, you, yes. You have a lot of positive things to say. So yeah. <laughs> you, you, you need to have a YouTube channel and promote that. Yeah, for sure, okay. for sure. But like, it's, it's doing what you're doing. You know, you gotta let people know who they are first. Yeah, and I'm still finding myself. You so know? <laughs> it's the identity, right? Yeah. So it's so easy. You, you and I, it, we go down the street. It's so easy for everyone to see that we're Africans. Oh, for sure, for sure. So so easy. So this is where it boils down to mm. when we unite as a global people. Yeah. You connect ourselves to to Africa, okay, and and. And through that, we, we, we draw our problems out, we, we bring our problems and we draw solutions, okay, and we fix them. Okay, because Africa has everything. Yeah, man, apparently, um, everything. Apparently, Ethiopia has a lot yeah, of water. Yeah. And you know, Australia, we don't have water. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> didn't Are you serious? Know. You, you sure you are born in Australia, you don't know we have water problems? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Don't you remember, like, 10 years ago, we used to stop, uh, we didn't wash our cars yeah yeah, yeah i remember uh, that we I were remember limited that. to how many showers we had yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we yeah. had to we had to yeah four four minutes wasn't it four yeah. minutes showers yeah man we were limited like the government gave everyone our glasses like you know the four minutes our glasses to have a shower yeah because we didn't have water i remember i remember and it's getting worse okay wow. this, throughout this year we haven't had much rain wow. we haven't had a lot of rain so. we haven't all right that's my, that's my time to go you gotta get out of a haircut all right yeah, shout out shout out your name again your instagram diddy underscore f50 Diddy underscore Diddy F underscore F50. D underscore F50. Diddy, uh, Diddy. Diddy. Yeah. All right, sweet. You want to say something? Come on, cuz. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> come on anything. Anything. You from Ethiopia too? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Haley Selassie. One love. Man. I am on. I am on. Say something. I don't like the fame, man. Right? Like All right. Fame. Okay. You don't like the fame. But you love the game. <laughs> he doesn't love the fame, but he loves the game. All right. Take a seat, cuz. So yeah, <laughs> irony, island without water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, the thing is, in, in Australia, we, because we're sur surrounded by the ocean, okay, but, but we do have a vast desert. We have a huge desert, which covers about 80% of um, the Australian land mass. So um, yeah, so what is gonna happen is they've started building um, desalination plants to, um, 
So the desalination plant converts seawater into drinking water. Okay, so just a week ago they commissioned one desalination plant. So let me let me pinch your stool. Uh, I'll get a seat. So yeah, the desalination plant will convert seawater into drinking water. So this is what's going to happen across Australia. So we're going to be bu building desalination plants. All right. So, um, but yeah, we do not have enough rain. Okay. So 80% of Australian land mass is desert. All right. It's a very, very tough, tough environment out here. Um, so you see majority of the Australian population is on the East Coast. Okay. Where, where there is a bit of rainfall. Okay. It's a bit of rainfall, and you, this is where you find the mainly the U European population, um, where it's a little bit cool. But Aboriginal Australians live in the interior; they live in the deserts in in the north, the northern part of of Australia. So let's see, uh, Niger boy, what was your question or your comment? Uh, SX, my condolences about the airplane that crashed. So um, yeah, uh, people don't watch the news, cars. Azx, did you hear about the um, the air, air, airplane that crashed in Ethiopia? You heard? Do you want to say something about that? <laughs> Still don't want to say anything. All right. So yeah, a few a few people know about it, but yeah, uh, the guys are saying their condolences. They're sending their condolences. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So um, yeah, I there's a brother here that says um, thank you. Okay, is X. What was the next? Uh, finally, someone started using their brains to do that. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of seawater that we can convert into drinking water. So yeah, why not? Why not? But um, it's gonna be. It's a very expensive process. Desalination. The desalination process is really, really. Um, it's gonna be very expensive. It, it, it involves a lot of um, energy. So basically, you have to uh, evaporate, you know, the seawater. <laughs> you have to distill, distill the seawater and, and get water vapor. And that water vapor transforms it into, into drinking water for you. So this is the, this is the process of um, the rainfall. Okay, so this is how rain, rain falls. So the sun heats up the water and the water vapor rises into the sky and it falls back down as rain. So this is what it is. But for, for humans to do that, because we are, we are destroying our environment, okay, we are having environmental issues. And environmental issues are, are the biggest issues facing Australia. Okay, not, not terrorism or anything else. So, you know, the future of Australia is desalination. Okay, drinking seawater, desalinated seawater. Sea so, yeah, uh, basically someone started using their brains, huh? But it is a very expensive uh, process, so yeah, and that is going to increase our uh, water bills here in Australia. So yeah, yeah, great comment, Azex. Uh, the Aboriginals, the Aboriginals, the original blacks of Australia know how to survive without rainfall. Whites have to take water from the oceans to harm sea life. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we know how it is. We know how it is, family. So it's it's always um, it's always the the easy easy way out for Europeans, isn't it? The easy way out. For in order for them to have what they have, to have, they need to destroy stuff. They need to fuck up shit, isn't it? They always need to fuck up shit just to have what they want. So yeah, you know, indigenous people of Australia, or um. Original people of Australia have been living in Australia for 65,000 years. Okay, 65,000 years. They've survived here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. It will be well. Yeah, everything. All right. We are with you. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. That's so okay. yeah. Eventually, we'll go back and we we'll help the family out. We'll build. That's it. All right, family. Thank you. All right. Okay, so. Um, that ends my stream. Okay. All right. Solo Barber Shop. Find Solo on Instagram. Okay. Find Solo on Instagram. Right. Okay. And subscribe.
All right, you got to sign it out. Peace out, family. Pan Africanism is the panacea and all remedy. Okay, for all black people's problems. All right, it is what it is. All right, peace out, family. Peace out.